Wake up, grand rising. Yes, I say grand. I'm that motherfucker that says grand rising. I'm about to reinstate that. Grand rising, beautiful. You are an original. You are original. And uh, there are secret societies. This isn't gonna get dark. There is no dark. I'm both. There are secret societies that time travel. They found ways to tap into the etheric and artificial fermanas, which is AI version of a Merkaba. So when I say you're original, there's a reason. You're able to go through time and space and activate and access portals that these clones can't. Due to the fact, many reasons, they transferred their consciousness into a synthetic, something that's not organic. Earth is a spaceship, and she is advanced. We're in a spaceship, really advanced. You know, some of us crash landed here and had to collect fragments of ourselves and wake up. It reminds me of a movie I watched a while ago. I don't watch movies, but this one standed out to me. The star captains were training to go into Earth's orbit again, but there was a, a belt around the Earth in Earth's atmosphere and orbit. They had to go through that, and when you do, you lose cognitive dissonance. You pass out. You become unconscious. And the test was, how fast can you become unconscious, regain consciousness, grab the wheel of the ship, land the ship, and fulfill your mission? Not many could do that. And they're trying to see who could do it the fastest. A lot of us went through that process. Like I said, we are the originals. We are connected to the all. We are connected to source. Is that serious? And there's secret societies that hide in plain sight, who go through different times, do all this sorts of stuff, but the great revealing is occurring. The originals, the celestials are awakening, and we have a great purpose to do. So wake up, wake up. Welcome to Divine Beings of the Cosmos. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're out next to getting sun, drinking water. It's very crucial during this time of growth, expansion. Some would even say ascension. I said, I want to start like per usual, to start by setting my intentions. I intend to be my highest self at all costs. My DNA is restored, activated, transformed, transfigured, embodying my soul essence. I will my will to the oneness of the divine. I say, family, let's go. Mm, welcome to the main event. Applying pressure, but I promise they ain't make it then. In their heads, living free. I ain't paying rent. Wake up in the AM making cheese like Mercedes Benz. Whoa. The time has come for us to embrace our true identities and missions. As architects and builders of these cosmic shifts, we have been selected and awakened for a higher purpose. Know that we are the 144,000 chosen to lead the transformation of the new earth. This message is truly from my heart built on the experiences and trials that I have shaped my personal journey. We have transversed multiple lifetimes, breaking free from religion and life's traumas, and now we stand ready to communicate our truths. Many of us are feeling like aliens in our environment, learning to love the human experience while adapting to the constraints of time and space. Our minds operate on a higher bandwidth, a higher frequency, often misunderstood as ADHD, but this is simply our advanced state of being. We are the originals. We are capable of transversing time and space itself, reconnecting the fragments of our past selves and awakening our true nature. Our natural abilities have been mimicked by the artificial means, but we remain authentic bearers of cosmic knowledge, power, and truth. In this timeline, we are reinstated into our rightful positions to lead the evolution of consciousness. We have the unique ability to manifest reality through our thoughts and through our intentions. We must use this power responsibly. The shadow forces have tried to trap us in artificial constructs, but we are breaking free and we are reclaiming our sovereignty. It is our birthright. We are the living. We are living in a matrix, yet we are the light beings connected to the source itself, prime creator. Our mission is to embody this light, to be the bridge between the physical and the etheric spiritual realms and celestials. Our presence alone alters the fabric of existence, bringing forth a new era of enlightenment and transformation. So embrace it. Our journey is not just about what we do, but knowing that where it comes from within us. We are here to ignite the spark of the divine truth Yes, and uplift humanity. The time of isolation is truly over. We must unite and stand at our post, ready to fulfill our cosmic dreams. We have been through many, many lifetimes healing old wounds and now we are ready to rise. 
We are the new leaders, the enlightened ones, here to guide, here to inspire. Remember, your energetic body is vast and powerful, connected organically to the source. Embrace your sovereignty and let your spirit shine. This is our call to action, Celestials. I'm asking you to hold the gate, to unite, and to remember we have done this before. Our mission is to awaken, to heal, and to lead. Let us fulfill our divine blueprints with pure hearts, knowing that we are the living embodiment of cosmic truth itself. We are the word made flesh. Much love and light to all of you. We are taking off. Our journey has truly just begun. I say you're dangerous. We're taking off.